Yes. Mr. Hillier? Yes. Mr. Fair? Yes. Mrs. Siebel? Yes. Mr. Baroni? Yes. The rule is suspended. Mr. Hillier? Thank you. I move to adopt resolution 2014-41, please. Second. Moved and second for the adoption of this resolution. Any discussion? Mr. Hillier? Thank you. Um, Council, um, I've asked Mrs. Newell for the public's um, awareness that she would eat, read the first five paragraphs. I think it will set up, like we said we'd have a little discussion prior to vote on this. Um, the price we were given, as I sent, I sent out an email today, I believe everybody got it. Um, the price was, how many months have we been working on this? Since November. Just November. Um, and I think the company did pretty good holding the price till May 1. But May 1 is Thursday. So we either um, vote for it, vote against it, or we're going to get a price increase and we change our mind later. So um, if you would, you could even make them brief, but I think these are very good points of what we're trying to bring up here. Okay. I really don't know if there's a way to make them brief, so I'll just read Do what you need to do. Okay. Thank you. Whereas the City Council of Mount Vernon, Ohio wants to increase the efficiency and reduce the cost of communications, and whereas IQM2 has been in business for 10 years and has nearly 250 local government clients using its meeting management and communication software, and whereas the City Administration and Council participated in a webinar session to see the capabilities of IQM2 and have had the opportunity to ask questions and read comments from current IQM2 users, and whereas the city administration and council believe IQM2 will provide the opportunity to communicate more efficiently among their members, but also with the city auditor, city law director, city engineer, and department heads. And whereas IQM2 will allow the city to upload historical and current <coughs> council documentation to city website for easy public access. Thank you. I'm going to be brief, but to start this off, I want to let you know, um, I had read the information that Tanya gave us on the agreement. And tonight when I was rereading it, I saw the phone number. It said David, um, the regional executive. And there was a phone number there, and I thought it was 5.30, and I thought, I wonder if he'll answer his phone. And I called, and he did. And this is the gentleman, as you see, has written this whole proposal. And I said, well, you answered the first question. There is somebody at the other end of the phone, so um, <laughs> I was glad to hear that. Um, I asked him, I said, how many people have dropped you because they didn't like your business? He told me zero in between 10 and 11 years' time. So I thought that was well. And then I went on to say about how, you know, we all, we all listened to the training we had for the brief down at the fire station. I said, you're talking to a guy who doesn't know the difference between an iPhone and a smartphone, and I have one. And I said, do you think I can do this? And he says, the only thing I can tell you is we had an 80-year-old man on council that didn't have an email address, and within three months, he handled it. Nobody takes more notes than I do, and nobody's more nervous than I do, but I think with everything we're told, this is a smart move. Did you want to add anything? I mean, I'd be happy to answer any questions, but I think... Mr. McConville, you saw the agreement? I did. And? Ah, that's fine with me. Okay, any other discussion? I, I would just like to very quickly state that I think the public transparency uh, capabilities of the software are probably worth the price alone in terms of uh, people's ability to see what it is exactly we're voting on, follow it, uh, look up everything online, and research past legislation. So I'm very enthusiastic about it. And thank you, Tanya, for all the research you've done on it. No problem. I'm excited. The only thing I will add, the only reason for suspension of the rule, the other reason, I think the public's been well aware of this since November, what yeah. we're trying to do here. Okay. So have a problem. Thank you. Mrs. No? Mrs. Vail? Yes. Mr. Francis? Yes. Mrs. Carl? Yes. Mr. Hillier? Yes. Mr. Fair? Yes. Mrs. Siebel? Yes. Mr. Baroni? Yes. Mr. Mayor, that was a little clearer than the discussion we had last <laughs> at the last council meeting <laughs> yeah. on, on a direction. So I ho hope you uh, that is. received Thank the direction. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that concludes the uh, resolutions for this evening. Uh, we move on now to the ordinances. Uh, the first ordinance is for third reading, and that is Ordinance 2014-06. Mrs. Newell. Ordinance number 2014-06, an ordinance amending the titles of chapters 911 and 920 of the codified ordinances of the City of Mount Vernon, um, amending sections, and enacting chapter 924 to establish a comprehensive set of stormwater ordinances. Mr. Brownie. Mr. President, I'd like to ask for adoption of ordinance number 2406. 
2014-06. I'll second it. We move and second it for the adoption of this, this ordinance. Any discussion? Mr. Brony? Thank you, Mr. President. Probably the most compelling reason for us to pass this legislation tonight <laughs> is so that we can Absolutely. stop carrying around 58 pages of legislation <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. from week to week. <laughs> but uh, as, we've, as we have said in our public hearing that we held two meetings ago and uh, the last two meetings that we've had an opportunity to discuss this wastewater uh, re reworking of the uh, ordinances, it basically brings us into compliance with EPA regulations and uh, um, I, th I think beyond that, it does, it does also create a new section uh, that deals with the illicit discharge and illegal uh, connections. And beyond that, uh, Cam, anything you feel compelled to add? If not, we'll go to vote. I think. Okay. I invite anybody else to weigh in if you'd like. Any other discussion? Mrs. No. Mrs. Vail. Yes. Mr. Francis? Yes. Mrs. Carl? Yes. Mr. Hillier? Yes. Mr. Fair? Yes. Mrs. Siebel? Yes. Mr. Baroni? Yes. And with that, I'd also like to express our abundant thanks to Mr. Keaton and everybody on the administration and, and Chip, especially you, for drafting this baby. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of work. That ordinance is adopted and that's what uh, verifies what we did in the previous resolution to do things electronically so we don't have to, uh, yeah. have to carry around all those pages. Uh, that concludes ordinances for third reading. We do have two for second reading this evening. The first one is Ordinance 2014-07. Mrs. Newell. Ordinance number 2014-07. An ordinance to amend sections 303.08, and 359.99 of the codified ordinances of the City of Mount Vernon relative to vehicles impounded by the police department and the disposal of such vehicles. Mrs. Siebel. I'm giving this its second reading. Thank you. This ordinance receives a second reading this evening. The final ordinance is Ordinance 2014-08. Mrs. Newell. Resolution number 2014-08. An ordinance to amend sections 1155.01, 1155.03, 1155.04, Eleven fifty five point oh five, eleven fifty five point oh seven, eleven fifty five point oh nine, and eleven fifty five point two nine of the codified ordinances of the City of Mount Vernon relative to the administration of the City Planning and Zoning Code. Mrs. Vale. Thank you, Mr. President. Last time we gave this one reading and with the understanding that we would attempt to pass it this evening. So I'm going to move for suspension of the rule requiring three separate readings for ordinance number 2014-08. Second. And moved and seconded for the suspension of the rules. Any discussion on the suspension? Mrs. Noel. Mrs. Vale? Yes. Mr. Francis? Yes. Mrs. Carl? Yes. Mr. Hillier? Yes. Mr. Fair? Yes. Mrs. Siebel? Yes. Mr. Baroni? Yes. The rule is suspended. Mrs. Vale? Thank you, Mr. President. I would move for passage of ordinance number 2014-08. Second. And moved and seconded for the adoption of this ordinance. Any discussion? Mrs. Vail? I have none. Okay. Just so the scouts understand, we break the legislation into resolutions which are, are more temporary, where an ordinance, the last three, were actually become, they have the same impact as law. So that's why there are two separate uh, in, uh, breaks in the legislative portion of the meeting. Mr. President, I might say that that this will then permit the administration to move forward with the testing and the criteria required for trying to get a zoning enforcement officer and a maintenance property maintenance enforcement officer, one and the same, uh, put together so that, that the weeds in the community and the things that need repair in the community might be achieved uh, as quickly as possible. Any other discussion of this ordinance? Mrs. Noel. Mrs. Vail? Yes. Mr. Francis? Yes. Mrs. Carl? Yes. Mr. Hillier? Yes. Mr. Fair? Yes. Mrs. Siebel? Yes. Mr. Peroni? Yes. The ordinance is adopted and that concludes our legislative portion of the meeting. We now move on to remarks from administration. Mayor Mavis. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Um, the council and, and people are viewing uh, this meeting. Let me make a pitch for 
issue one. It's on the ballot. If you voted, I'm hoping you voted for it. If you didn't or haven't voted yet, I'm hoping you will. Uh, they're asking for the, uh, the opportunity to sell bonds. This does not increase anyone's taxes. Uh, this is something that we've done. As a matter of fact, we are in year 29 coming up. Uh, we, every year, this money goes into uh, the, the, uh, green, the Ohio Clean Ohio Fund, or it goes into Public Works Fund. This, I was just looking here. The city of Mount Vernon, just to show you, in the last 10 years, we had 400000 we put toward the Coshocton Road project, $400,000 on the Chestnut Street project, $400,000 in paving, $300,000 in the assessment of the ANC project, $1.5 in the ANC cleanup project, uh, $350,000 in Foundation Park 1, uh, $375,000 in Foundation Park 2, and then the purchase of the wetlands. Those are the ones I just dotted here. All that money came from this bond sale. So what they want to do is renew it for another 10 years. So that that'd take it out uh, to 40 years because we're just finishing 29 here. So. Uh, it doesn't cost extra money. It, it does uh, allow the state to sell extra bonds. This money comes back into, in the form of infrastructure, comes back in the ability to, to uh, clean properties up. They have brown fields money, which is what we have for ANC, and we have green fields, which is the money we just received that you all talked about tonight. It's a, it's a wonderful way to distribute money fairly to townships and villages and cities and counties. So I'm pitching issue one on the ballot. I uh, also wanted to mention to you also that uh, swimming uh, pool will open this year if it ever stops raining and gets warm enough. But in May 20th, 21st, and 27th, uh, from 4 to 7 p.m. at the water park, for all of those people that bought family passes, you can go out on the May 20th, 21st, or 27th from 4 to 7 and sign your children up for free lessons. Also wanted to. Uh, point out to you that the uh, National Day of Prayer is coming up this Thursday, 7 p.m. on the public square. On uh, May 26th, there's Memorial Day, 10.30 will be the parade and the program on the public square. The uh, CANC was already mentioned. It's the uh, ribbon cutting at 12 noon on May 2nd, that's Friday. And the uh, city cleanup week, I want to talk about that because uh, I think we discussed with council that our participation rate had been declining for every year that we've done that. So this year we decided to do something different and we went up and talked to the people at the transfer station and they said the minimum charge was $40. We were paying 50% of that, but if you only had three or four bags in there, it really was uh, easier to do something else with it and cheaper to do something else with it. So we changed it. For all those people who are listening, by the way, it started yesterday. So. Uh, Monday through Saturday, that's May 3rd, you can take your uh, trash up to the transfer station on Tilden Avenue. We will, play, we will pay everything except $10. We're trying to get people to clean up their uh, properties and take it up there. So we're doing it this week. We then do it every Saturday, June 7th, July 5th, August 2nd, September 6th, and then Tuesday uh, through Friday, October 6th through 10th, uh, you can take it up there. So we kind of start with a week. We do Saturdays and end with a week. So we encourage people to do that. And then uh, this, uh, Friday, or this Saturday is the state's free fish day out at Foundation Park. They'll have, uh, they've stocked trout. It's got 900 trout uh, for this one. Yes, yes, 900 trout. Knox County fishing game. And uh, so um, we ask people to go out and have a good time and start your youngsters fishing. Terry, I made a boo-boo on something. No, you were fine. I got all my dates right and everything? Okay. <laughs> Good. Bruce, that's all I have. Thank you, Mayor. <coughs> Mr. Glass. Uh, nothing, sir. Mr. Scott? Nothing further. Mr. McConville? No, thank you. Mr. Harrier? Thank you. I'll be quick. Tanya, thank you very much for your patience and your continued patience that you'll need. <laughs> um, real quick, first Friday. It may rain. I'm told the rain venue is the C, A, and C, correct? Um, so the band, we would, we would move to there um, by 6 o'clock if it, uh, the mayor doesn't do something about the weather. So they just want to throw that out there. Um, I would like to see, though, if we could, on another note, the administration. There's been a lot of talk back and forth, council, emails, about the alley, about what can happen to the alley, what we need to do with the alley. And I sent an email the other day. I would like to see the mayor, Dave, Cameron, whoever needs to make the decision to make it. And we said back in November, December, whenever this was started, we would do what it takes 
to make this alley work. We have to move a pole, we have to move the curb. Now we're talking coming off of Gambier Street. I think, you know, we heard tonight that the alley's not going to come back, so we need to figure out a way, you know, to, to back up what we said we'd do. And I think the sooner we do it, the better. Whatever it is, legislation, the council, whatever we need to do, a 90 days, we need to do something. We need to make it sooner than later. Um, you know, I, I think that we, we said we'd do it. We said we'd, we'd accommodate. We said we'd clean up the other alley that, that is in the dead end. And we need to make plans for that as well because it's, we heard tonight it's not coming back. So we need to, you know, to stand behind our promise. Thank you. Mrs. Carl. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I just want to remind people, I don't think it was said uh, yet, that on May 1st, the rates go up for the family memberships. So if you want a reduced rate for your family <coughs> membership for the, the swimming pool and the water park, then you need to get into Mr. Scott's office sometime this week and get that reduced rate. Or they can, if they want, go to our city website, okay. get their application form off of the website, and get a postmark date by yeah. April 30th. So okay, cool. Work as well. And also, while you're standing up there, Mr. Scott, I want to uh, give you a check. This is from the Town and Country Garden Club in the amount of $750. And this check is uh, to honor the memory of, of a member, a longtime member, Ruth Snow. And it's a memorial fund uh, for her. And it is to be used for the landscaping uh, for the park. Uh, on Gambier Street, okay. the mini park on Gambier Street, and so um, I think I guess there's some legislation that will go with this in the future. But I wanted to present that to you on behalf of the uh, the Town and Country Garden Club. We'll follow up with our next meeting. Thanks. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Thank you, <coughs> Mr. Siebel. Nothing. Thank you, Mr. Fair. Nothing, Mrs. Vale. Yes, Mr. President. Uh, if Members no. of the council want to be in the parade on the 26th. We need to make some decisions about whether or not we're going to walk. Last year we walked rather than to ride in the vehicle. And we need to determine are we going to do this together as a group or are we not? <coughs> so are we interested in doing yes, the walk. parade? I thought what we did last year was walk great. The walking that was good. Okay. Everybody else? I'm send an email. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. <laughs> I'll be at Green Line. Tanya, will you send out an email and and the responses will come to you then with regard to whether or not persons will be walking? For the Memorial Day Parade. Correct. Okay. So all of you walking or yes. one vehicle? Okay. <laughs> no, I might, I might not be walking. I might ride in a car. Okay, so possibly one car or, okay. okay. I'm the lazy one. That's what I thought you said. Nancy, do you want me to put a, a parade application in? Would you please? Because I'll probably walk also. So, yes, so I'll go ahead please? and do that for council and administration. Yes, thank okay. you. So we can just walk. If we just want to walk, yes. we can just, we don't have to. You still need to have an application in. I mean, if you're yes. walking. The mayor's going to well, don't. Well, you'll have to have a spot, though, yeah. because we announce when we go by. And mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. They'll issue us a number when we arrive. Anything else? I think that's all okay. I have for this evening. Mr. Francis. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to thank all my colleagues up here for a, a, a wonderful evening. <coughs> I think we had great discussions on uh, numerous things that uh, are going on within the community. And uh, I would like to also thank the uh, Boy Scouts for coming on such a memorable evening <laughs> of uh, laws and ordinances. So I hope you learned something. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Brony. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Uh, first off, I want to thank uh, Mr. McConville for his uh, great impromptu research work, enabling us to find a way to extend a discussion on a very important matter. I know I learned a few more feelings about what concerns people about the, the hotel e easement, and it uh, wouldn't have happened if you hadn't found us a legal path to do that. So thank you very much. Uh, I do, I, I, in my comments, I had referenced that I had received comments from many, many people. Um, I did take the opportunity, to, uh, there's 23 pages of comments front, uh, uh, that I've gleaned. It's great conversation, pro and con. Obviously, from the statistics, mostly pro. I have copies for anybody on council who would like, like to have one. I'd be happy to give you or anybody else uh, until I run out. Um, and in addition to the May 2nd event at uh, Aerial Foundation Park, the opening of the CA and C Depot, the ribbon cutting, I want to mention that on Saturday, 
May the 10th, we're having our first annual uh, foundation, Aerial Foundation Park Walk Run. This is a fundraiser for the Conservancy to help us enable to raise public uh, or private, private funds for the uh, uh, improvements at the park. So um, if you go to premierraces.com, those of you who walk and run these events know where to find that. There will also be other uh, information about it on the Aerial Foundation Park website. You can Google it. Should be a great event, a memorable first annual. You'll want that T-shirt that says first annual. And I just want to echo what Mike said about the alley. I really, I, I agree. We, we sort of made assurances, and I'd like to, you know, we've got a lot of ideas floating out there, and I think any of us are being willing to meet with you and try some things. But appreciate it. That's all I have. Thank you. This uh, Wednesday, the uh, Mount Vernon City Council and the school board meet uh, uh, a couple times a year, mm -hmm. once a year, and uh, we decided to have a, a support a senior luncheon, and that will happen in Mount Vernon High School this Wednesday at noon. Uh, we already have over a hundred people who will plan to attend that that uh, uh, that luncheon. This is a, just a time for senior <coughs> citizens to see what happens at the high school. There'll be uh, people from the debate team there, uh, different musical uh, thing presentations. This is not a levy campaign. They don't have a levy up. This is just for people to have a chance to see what happens in our schools and to see how uh, important the schools are to our entire community. So uh, hope people enjoy that day. Uh, do want to remind people to vote. This is our last uh, meeting before the election. I voted today. It was pretty lonely there. I was the only one in the, in the entire place. Uh, it is a primary, but it is an important election. Uh, and, and the issue that the mayor brought up is, is important to city council. It's a way to uh, bring in revenue uh, without increasing taxes uh, for your uh, personal taxes there. So uh, please vote. Um, this is the, the Saturday will be the first Saturday of the month. So we, uh, some of us will be at SIPS for informal discussions if people want to have discussions with city council at 8.30 at SIPS. Uh, I'd like to thank the media for being here, WMVO, Mount Vernon Radio, Mount Vernon News, Knox Pages, and Time Warner uh, for broadcasting this event. That being said, uh, that, that concludes our meeting. I'll turn it over to Mr. Fair. Having concluded a well-rounded agenda, <coughs> I move for adjournment. I'll second it. And moving to second, we adjourn. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Nay. We are adjourned.